guys. Frank Fulci back again with another hole. Still doing them. Still haven't missed a week yet, I don't believe. Uh, well, welcome back before I get into my big spiel. For uh, new people, welcome. Uh, been doing this for a little over a year now, so a bunch of content to look at in the back catalog. And of course, a new video today. Um, haven't really been buying movies that much. Uh, actually, even though there's a couple here, I did think I was going to have at least one or two more packages, but I actually have a bunch of CDs and stuff, so just like last week, I'll do it in a separate video, because I know some of you movie guys aren't necessarily CD guys, and vice versa. Anyway, let's jump into this. Even though there's only a couple, there could be some exciting stuff here. Uh, first up is this package, obviously, from Amazon, as you can tell by the packaging. And that's uh, an exciting new release from, well, exciting for me, maybe not for some people, Scream Factory, the steelbook version of um, Slumber Party Massacre. So of course I had the regular version, which should be somewhere on the shelf up there. Um, you know, the Scream Factory regular version of Slumber Party Massacre. Um, but this is a new 4K transfer. Uh, they also, I'm assuming the rest of the special features are just ported over from that one because nothing else says new next to it. But new 4K scan from the original camera negative, Sleepless Nights, the making of the Slumber Party Massacre, audio commentary with director and actors from the movie, both Michael Villela or Villella, 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 and Deborah DeLuso, DeLuso, uh, interview with actor Rig Kennedy and theatrical trailer. So not too, too much in terms of uh, special features, but new commission artwork for the Steelbook, Matches pretty nicely with the rest of their steel books, so happy to have that. I didn't opt for the action figure and everything bundle this time poster. I have so many freaking Scream Factory posters that they're just in the tubing still. I figure once I move out into a different living situation, then I can start framing them and putting them all up and stuff, depending on whatever space I may have in the next domicile of mine. But in the meantime, I just have posters piling up, just like everything else I collect, so didn't need another one of those end of the story there this next one which is the last one in the movie hall part of this um is a uh release from scream team releasing so i used to pick up everything these guys did this was actually part of the uh 1031 part two crowdfunding thing i guess it was through indiegogo um so i've been waiting a long time for this package actually um and I saw some people started getting them. I know Team Money freaking showed his off a while ago, like two, three weeks ago, I feel like. Eh, maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, so people have been getting theirs, but I guess because I got the signed version, it took a little longer. Anyway, long story short, it's been a while. But it's finally here, so let me make sure I got everything out of here. And like I said, this was through Indiegogo. I liked the first movie. Eh, I liked it enough. I actually revisited it. And it was okay, um, but again, I was buying everything Scream Team was doing, so I was, you know, happy to contribute. Uh, this is a signed poster for it, 1031 Part 2, so that's pretty cool. After I just said I don't need any more posters, right? Um, so the thing is about this, because it was taking so long, they actually sent, probably a month or two ago, actually, at this point, they sent everyone who did contribute a uh, screener, like a link to watch it digitally. And I watched it, and it was actually a lot better than part one. I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, like I said, I revisited part one, and it was okay for what it is. You know, low-budget anthology movie. Some of the segments are better than others, which is, you know, par for the course at this point. <sighs> but uh, part two, I had watched right after I rewatched part one, and so much better. Uh, I think I actually enjoyed all of the shorts in this one. I don't think there was, you know, obviously there's weaker and stronger ones, but I think they're all pretty good. Um, Anyway, let me shut up. Here's the front cover. Again, they went with like the EC Comics style. Uh, this thing is a little warped. It's not really fitting too well in that slip cover. But again, signed here. Uh, let me open it up. Let's see, they does have. So the disc art is the same as the poster. And yeah, there's a reversible art. If you can see through the blue, uh, is the same as the poster as well. So cool reversible artwork signed edition here and the slip cover is different artwork so you can get you know three different artworks so that's pretty cool you know happy with the way they did the packaging for this one for sure 
again, happy to have contributed to the campaign. Glad, you know, I was able to help get them, you know, help them make the movie. And here is a cool part of the package that I chose. You know, there's different levels when you do those crowdfunding things. What is all over me? Um, and here's a VHS, so signed VHS of it. Uh, I'm not a big VHS collector, but I know a lot of people out there are. And I thought this was a cool nostalgia item to have. They did pretty good with the packaging, a little off-center and things, but maybe that adds to the uh, nostalgia feel of it. But again, signed. I'll probably keep this one sealed because I don't actually have a VCR hooked up. How does it bother you guys that people call them VHS players? Because it's a freaking VCR. I've even some, seen some people argue, well, VCR and VHS player, or, yeah, VHS player are two different things. No, it's the same fucking thing. Call it a VCR. Anyway, that's my haul for movies this week, guys. Short and sweet, like I said. Uh, so, Scream Factory and Scream Team. A lot of screams going on here. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to cut here. I'm going to do a separate video. So, if you guys want to watch the next video, which will be a music release you know, a CD haul. Um, awesome. I love, you know, I would love for you guys to watch both. I know my views on the last CD video were much, much lower than the uh, movie one, but hey, what can you do, right? Uh, stick around if you want. If not, I'll see you guys next week. I think I should have some, uh, couple things coming in. I know I have my buddy Valentine coming in at some point. I think I got a shipping uh, notification from that. Other than that, Again, haven't been ordering too many movies. If there's any movies releases that you guys think I'm missing, let me know. I know Arrow just, you know, announced a bunch. I might do a little pre-order to a Diabolic for those. I don't know. Not really paying attention to too many uh, movies at this point. I'm preoccupied with other stuff, music and my new site and stuff. So anyway, I'm rambling a lot in this video. It's a lot longer than it should be for two freaking movies. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Be good.